it was just a regular day at the Insumo Inn. Tsukimi had just taken care of some of her duties on the shores after being helping Media Asama to take care of some of the guests and some of the friends who was there. After she had been working for almost entire since early morning to around 2 to 3 p.m., she was allowed to take her a break from work. She decided to, is to take around a walk around town to get some fresh air to feel more at least get it try to avoid to being tired. She ended up at the park where she heard some sound and she saw that the words were not to separate by the name Akitsu. Akitsu was there to train some of her own ice powers. And since and since Tezukimi herself has water powers, she didn't want to disturb Akitsu while doing her training. Which normally could be, wouldn't she wouldn't take much as very offended, but did today, the Tsukimi had wanted to, to maybe to ask Akitsu if she wanted to have maybe a sparring partner to do some sparring against against her for a friendly battle. So when Akitsu did notice her and she stopped doing her practice or her training. When Tsukimi walked up to Akitsu and asked if she wanted maybe to have a sparring partner during the day, and even though Akitsu asked why is she here, why is she not at the end and working, Tsukimi actually explained that she had a break for at least an hour from media. And though she once again asked if Akitsu wanted to have a sparring partner, but she would understand if she didn't want to sparring together with anyone at the today, and that she preferred to be alone, which she normally do. But in fact, Akitsu thought for a moment and said that she perhaps would be preferred to have a sparring partner today, so that she can try to use some of her new improved skills in battle with someone else. So they both decided to do this fighting. And after about maybe as a half hour of training against each other, even afterwards, Tsukimi actually compliment, complimented Akitsu for her new skills and that she had very much improved some of her fighting skills and her improvement of powers. Which Akitsu thanks for her compliment. compliment they actually just start talking about random things, about some of their training skills, that how much they want to improve their own skills to be a better fighter and be able to fight, to fight other bad guys or even save people from any harm. After they had been sparring for about a half hour, Tsukumi realized she had to return back to the inn or she would be late since she will only have another half hour left of her break. But then Akitsu then asked if she wanted maybe to go grab them something to drink. After all, it was a quite warm day, and since they have been sparring for a half hour constant without a break, so Suzukumi, she agreed. So they went to this close by place, a small store, where they bought something to, just to drink. They actually went back to, to the end together while talking about some of the previous battling battles and some of their, their own personal training programs to do have. Akizu did, did mention about some of her own personal training programs which she usually perform when she's training just to improve her skills and powers, even though she normally does, doesn't even share any of her information what kind of programs or how she practice or training herself. But since she can actually trust Tsukumi, after all, they're good friends, and Tsukumi did actually tell Akitsu of some of her own training skills as well. After all, they were actually good friends and she wanted to maybe to share some of her own training. Maybe some of that can actually help Kitsu with some of her own training, and even considered that was actually very something both agreed on. 
Even though Akitsu mentioned that her fighting skills were very, very strong and they have improved it much for the past few weeks. After all, she has noticed how much she went to Tsukumi using her ward powers and that some of her training and some of the practice before had increased and even had improved a lot more better since for about a year earlier. And of course, Tsukumi was actually impressed of how she complimented about that. And after all that, Akitsu to continue walking when Tsukumi returned back to work, she was thinking about Akitsu for some reason. Even though that she knows that she is a very talented, she is a strong fighter, but even despite after what happens, she actually had a lot of respect for Akitsu. Not only because they are the good friends, so therefore she is a good fighter, but because she can trust her of any sort of secrets. Because only about a few days later, Akitsu and Tsukumi met at the park for some other for some another sparring match, and even after they practiced for an, for about almost an hour, they took a break, and even after a while, they decided to just continue small talk afterwards and just to trying and try to relax afterwards. Tsukumi then asked Akitsu if they were if she had found someone to be with, or at least maybe were seeing some any special someone right at the moment. Even though Akitsu herself was saying no, she wasn't dating anyone or wasn't even interested in anyone in particular. But she did mention she had there were at least one person that she may have an interest in. But in her mind, this particular person may not even have perhaps may not have the same interest back towards her. So even though Tsukumi Realized that even if she would have asked Akitsu who this particular person is, without maybe with the possibility that she may not even know this guy is. After all, this is a big city, and that she may have ended up in love with some unregulated human. But she did ask, anyways, and she even asked if she knew this guy. But Akitsu said it isn't a guy, in fact, it's a girl. That did surprise Tizukumi a little bit, but she didn't want to push for more information from Akitsu, so she didn't put much into the magic question after that. Even though Akitsu said that she didn't mind to tell who this particular girl is, but Tizukumi said that she, she didn't want to push Akitsu to tell any information that she didn't mean, because after all, this isn't it isn't her right to interfere in some of Kisu's own personal life, and after all, including her own privacy. Even though Akitsu respected that, but she said that she wanted to be wanted to tell someone, even though she might know that some of the other Akitsu secretary may not even believe it or maybe not start talking to her, and then for reason for that. Even though that made Tsukumi quite more interested and curious. So she asked if she wanted to tell her, but it was only up to herself to be if she wanted. Akitsu did mention that she had a crush, or at least an interest in Tsukumi. That made her eyes big open. She was not even expecting that from Akitsu. And of course, she then asked Akitsu how long she had had this had this sort of interest in her. And Akitsu said for about a while, maybe it's maybe six months or maybe a year, she was even herself, she was even correctly unsure yet. But Akitsu did mention that she preferred not be telling any others about this because she had no idea how they would even react. Some of them might react like shockly, like Tizukumi did, or badly, or just okay, like that kind of reaction. But then Tizukumi asked if she would even date her if she had 
the option or the, the opportunity. Akita said that she would date her, but she was not even sure if Tsukumi would even date her. After all, she didn't know if she had any feelings for her. Even though that kind of response made Tsukumi a little bit angry, or a little bit upset for some reason, she said it with a bit upset tone. You know, you could at least be honest about this. You could have asked me out. Even if you didn't, even if you do expect me to say no, but you couldn't have been at least try to ask me out. I would be said yes or no because you wouldn't even know. Even though Akito did realize, did know that sometimes Tsukumi may have can have a short temper, but she wasn't even that upset. He only used to turn a tiny bit upset because of that, but she then understood and asked if she would go out with her. And the Tsukumi didn't need an, an, even a second to think for this an answer, but she said yes. And for that, Akitsu was really happy that she may have found her special someone, for as she called it. Both agreed to go out on a date about a few, you know, within a few days. And of course, they just debated from where to go. And they decided to go to this local restaurant that was nearby, near the park, and was also close to where, where the Sukumi works. And it wasn't any problem, because only a few days later, they went to this restaurant and they had an actually great time. They had talked about almost anything possible, like from some of their fighting skills and some of, even some of their personal hobbies. Even though the Sukumi wasn't even realized if Akitsu had any personal hobbies outside of her, except from her fighting skills, if she was interested in any particular, any particular shows, or and if she had any sort of interest. Except for that, she realized that she did actually like to watch documentary, or at least some sort of national programs about the environment, or at least landscape of different country, of different countries. Even though they actually had a pleasant time on their first date, they decided to keep this dating for a secret for a while from their friends, because not only because they didn't want to be telling anyone, they just want to make sure to see if this dating would, would even be serious. After all, they didn't want to be telling it to some of their friends, and suddenly they're not even dating anymore. So they didn't want to give to some of their friends false hope of maybe that she, they have found someone to be with. Which Akitsu agreed. So for the next couple of weeks to almost a month, they kept this all secret. Before they decided to me, came out to their friends if so much but they had been dating. Because after they, they had both decided to see if they were going to work out after, if they could still be together, been dating for about a month, they then decided to tell some of their friends about their being dating. And it, it actually wasn't as a bad idea. Even though they, they were expecting a mixed feelings or response or support from their, fans, their friends. But this is the most opposite they expected. They were expecting maybe some disagreements about they being dating. But in fact, there wasn't any sort of against their relationship. All their friends were really supportive. They were, well, despite they were shocked or surprised about they've been dating, but they were really open and support their relationship. And that made both Akitsu and Tsuji Sakumi at least happy to know their friends had support them for their been dating. Even though, even though some of their friends were curious to know it was any fight between Akitsu or Tsukumi, because they realized sometimes they knew that the Sukumi had can have a short temper, even though despite if there were any some arguments between them, but they never never have a serious fight, and especially that war would involve their own powers against each other. But that never that outcome never happened, which surprised both all their friends, but at least they were happy not to never fight against each other with their powers. That would have been a disaster. But if there were any sort of problems between them, they tried to work it out. And maybe they were had 
maybe one of their maybe one or two or their friends would would help to work their problems or their, their particular issue out before it could escalate to any bigger fights. Which normally did have help or just normalized worked. But after that a while though, Akitsu were sometimes could even see to Sukumi because doing her at her because of her work. Because working at the Izumo Inn sometimes took a lot of time of her working since she works at from around 6 a.m. to nearly 8 p.m. sometimes, or like for most days. And sometimes she had to work overnight, even to dark night to, to midnight. And when Mija wasn't even at the, at the inn at that point, this is sometimes. Suzukumi had to be acting as a manager for the place. And that means that sometimes she had to be had still been in active service or working up to almost around the entire night if something would happen. But that was rarely happened though. That quant didn't happen so quite often. But it when it happened, when if they did, she both had to take care of the other customers or other guests. But her relationship with Akitsu had remained strong over the time. Even though despite they had some fights, but which always they worked it out. And even though, even despite all this, their relationship remained solid strong. It only grew stronger for each single day. They weren't even had any certain about if this relationship was going to work out or or if it's going to be a long term, or if it was going to used to be a short term. Despite this, they put all the efforts to make sure this this relationship could have worked, and it was worth it. Because after they've been dating for about five years, Akitsu took with Tsukumi to the park, and where she actually. Had a sparring partner, a sparring fight first, after about maybe it's a half hour long, but afterwards, she actually proposed to the Suzukumi, which she took as a big surprise. But she said yes, and they were really happy to be that Akitsu actually took this big step in their next, in, as a part of the next step in their relationship. But the relationship had been just been a great time, and especially now when they were getting married. Akitsu on their wedding day was well excited, even though she normally doesn't even express of some such pure happiness. But this time was one of the few times she did. And the Tsukumi, she was really excited herself that she was now getting married with the true love of life. Even though, even though, this was something that the both of them would never regret to do. Because they realized even before they was getting married, because they were meant to be with each other. And even after the wedding sale was over and at the party, all their friends could see how happy both Akitsu and the Tsukumi were when they were dancing for the first time. It was a magical moment. Because when they danced, it was like they were the only ones there and the whole world was empty and stood still. Only the music in the background was playing. They were looking so deep in each other's eyes and it was just a perfect moment. They even went to a small cabin outside town for about a week as for honey. Only about four years later, both Akitsu and Tsukumi wanted to have a family of their own. So they decided to go to this local ado adoption agency to see if it was possible for them to maybe adopt maybe one or two children, if they were at least approved. But since they were actually local heroes in town, and they had done so much for the city, so they were proved. They adopted two daughters who was about eight 
and ten. They will love their two daughters, and they do anything to protect them. Even though their daughters was quite shy about around them both, but after a while they get to know them, and despite that, the case may seems to, or at least seem to be, almost no ex to express no emotions. But she do shows a lot of emotions for her film to her children, and. Even though the spite Tsukumi may still have some short temper, but she managed to have it to keep under control. And of course, it always was not this big deal, because she was able to control her anger even better now when she had children, because she didn't want to scare, terrifying her daughters about all of some of her sudden outbursts of anger. And even after all this. Both Akitsu and Sakumi was actually quite happy to be married now with the one they loved the most, and especially to have two daughters of them together. So this is how Akitsu and this Sakumi found a true love kind of family together. The end.